a somewhat unusual living arrangement, but for now it works. It's dinner time, isn't it? This woman named Joy opened her home to a father and his baby who had no place to go. I can't sleep in the airport with a newborn. You know what's gonna happen, they'll take my baby away from me. Reuben had just gained custody of his newborn daughter. He was in Arizona from Ohio to pick her up when she was four days old. That's when he met Joy at the hospital where she volunteers. And I sat down and was rocking her when her father came in. And um, we sort of made a connection right away. Reuben made arrangements for him and his daughter to fly back home. I explained to the airline, you know, I was going to fly back with her. They told me the policy was to make sure that uh, I had some kind of documentation from the hospital saying that she was clear to fly. I got all that. Reuben says he had all the paperwork needed, but when he got to the gate at Frontier Airlines, he was turned away. He says the airline's policy is that a baby must be at least seven days old to fly. He called Joy, who told him, I'm coming to get you and I'm going to take you home. So I'm thinking taking me home, she's going to drive me back to Cleveland. But she actually brought me to a house. She's been feeding me, making sure me and my baby's all right. Reuben and his daughter are booked on an upcoming flight, but they'll be missed once they leave. She's just beautiful and wonderful. She's been so good. And I'm going to really miss her when she's gone. She could have said it's your problem and hung up the phone. So, you know, I thank her. I thank all of her and the staff at the hospital. Frontier Airlines says it's waived any change fees associated with Ruben's travel this time around. For InsideEdition.com, I'm Kelly Nealon.